Hello, I'm Dan West with Livonia Chamber of Commerce. This is our latest cyber edition of Cityscape, a regular series of video chats about people, places, and ideas that impact the volume. As businesses prepare to reopen, managers need to prepare for an altered environment, explore ways to minimize their risk. Today, we welcome Kafese Medisa, a risk and business insurance consultant for the Marsh and McLennan Agency. Kafese, thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Dan. With the shutdowns of recent weeks, business managers are looking at costs. What can a business do to minimize their risk and insurance costs? Well, the costs businesses pay for their insurance policies are usually based on estimated payroll or revenue. So the higher your estimated revenue or payroll, the higher your insurance costs will be. So if a business owner had a decrease in revenue or payroll because of the pandemic, inform your risk advisor immediately. They will work on your behalf to negotiate with the insurance company to reduce your costs. I also suggest removing certain coverages for autos that are not being used and generally keeping your advisor up to date with any changes in your operations so they can suggest ways to limit your risk and your costs. Uh, Kafese, what other issues do you see for businesses as they resume their operations? That's a, that's a good question. I actually foresee a rise in discrimination claims now that employees are slowly coming back to work. Uh, employees most likely won't be brought back all at once, and some may not even be brought back at all, unfortunately. Uh, so I'm preparing for employees to say, why, hey, why did they bring Jason back and not me? Or why did they bring my team back? and not me. And that's where you can see a rise in discrimination claims as well. Uh, but I'm also keeping my eye out on wage and hour violations. You have a number of hourly employees who are working from home, a good remote tracking system for some of the employers. Uh, so if you're not keeping track of the uh, hourly employees while they're working at home, uh, you may have these workers work at extra hours uh, or say they're working extra hours and file a, a, a claim that you aren't paying them for the hour's work. So I see a, a rise in that, but I keep my eye on that and report back. If a company has a legitimate insurance claim, what should owners and managers do to position themselves to the front of the line? That's a good question. This is a tough one that the industry is dealing with. Uh, this pandemic is, is an uncharted territory, and to be candid, no one knows if business owners will be able to recoup their losses from their insurance policy. Only the insurance company, not myself or any other uh, risk advisor, determine if coverage applies. But a number of business owners are filing claims. And the thought is, if the state or federal government forces insurance companies to pay business income losses, which is in the works, the, the government and uh, insurance companies are, are working through this. But if the uh, government forces insurance companies to pay, uh, you will want to be first in line. And the way to be first in line is to make a claim with your insurance company because they would pay those with the claim in first. So think of making a claim now as pulling a number to, uh, to be in line as the Secretary of State. If the insurance companies are forced to pay uh, those business income losses, you will be first in line because you pulled that number. But get, uh, get in touch with your risk advisor and it can help you with guidance and uh, any steps along the way in the process. All right, well, thank you, Kafese, for sharing your time and expertise with us today. Thank you, Dan. Uh, well, uh, we appreciate everyone taking the time to watch this edition of Cityscape, and we look forward to seeing you next time.